Have you ever studied quantum physics? Have you ever looked into science or the study of matter at the tiniest levels? Well, it's actually a really fascinating subject. I've always been interested in science, and if you've been reading my work for a while, I talk about a lot of different things. But what's really cool about science and history and why I love studying these topics is because you can, when you take that along with all of the different spiritual traditions in the world, you can kind of start to see a fabric of what's going on, on here on planet Earth and what's going on in life. And one of the interesting things about quantum physics is that when we look at our bodies, when we study, you know, we look and we think, oh, this is my hand, it's solid. But when you look at it from the quantum level, I mean, if you remember from grade school, you got protons, neutrons, electrons. They're basically, you've got the, the atoms that vibrate. And so you've got protons, neutrons, and electrons. And those particles, when you look at them under, like say you take an electron of a, a particular atom and you look at it under a microscope, uh, you know, and I'll, what do you call it, electron microscope, I guess it is. And so you look at it under this microscope and, you know, this dot that, that makes up these atoms there's a, is actually made up of even smaller particles. And these particles, it, this is called quantum physics, which is the study of matter at the tiniest level. And the interesting thing about quantum physics and quantum particles, or quarks, as they say, are these particles blink into and out of existence 60 million times a second. So this hand of yours that you think is solid from a scientific level really is just blinking into and out of existence 60 million times a second. So you could say, I'm not really here unless I am.